Humans are very good at explaining things. We talk, show and make gestures and that's what Explain Everything seeks to capture and uh, put it onto the iPad. So let's imagine that I'm a student, a, a year 10, who's doing a, a, an assignment about uh, travel and uh, airlines. And so here's Qantas heading off uh, from Australia, landing in Singapore, and then uh, goes to Europe. Then if we look at Singapore Airlines, well, they can travel down to Australia, up into Thailand, off to Asia and uh, Eastern Asia, and to Europe. So they're quite centrally located. But if I then look at uh, the new em Emirates airline from the Gulf, they are in a very good position. They can travel off to Europe, Asia, Africa and Australia and their location helps them. So, not a student anymore. The student has to be very uh, focused in what they're saying and they use the gestures and the drawing to illustrate their story. They've got to be articulate, clear and concise and they're pretty good skills to have. So let's imagine I'm a year three student explaining two digit addition to other students. And I say we've got five and seven and that makes 12 units and we put the 12 units in the units column and then we add up the tens and there's five of them. But hey, we can't have 12 units in the units column. You can only have up to nine. So we take 10 of those units and we put them over in the tens column and then we now can say that we've got four, five, six tens, so our answer is six tens and two units, 62. So the student, or maybe a pair of them, can be quite entertaining in the way they, they tell their story and they can make fun of what they're doing too, which children really enjoy. So the audience of this sort of presentation is to a large extent, other students. And of course, the teacher can gain a lot of understanding about what the student understands. But it makes the business of learning a game that the students can enjoy playing. Now we'll have a look at the interface that you use. It's reasonably complex because it's, it's powerful. One of the most useful uh, elements is the slide sorter and you can display each of the pages or slides that are uh, in a presentation and you can reorder them. Uh, you can also click on them and uh, bring up a, a delete button so that you can remove a particular slide and you can also duplicate it which is quite handy because you can set up a, a slide and then duplicate it. There are drawing and text tools and there's the laser pointer which is really handy for presentations and if you go to the image input section that's quite powerful that you can bring in photos from the iPad camera roll to using the iPad camera you can also get images from other sources when you select an item it just comes straight in and then you can manipulate and reorient the image if you're creating a presentation you can switch off the menu items on the side and the bottom and just have a very simple menu display on the bottom is a slide tracker so that you can click through each of the slides and go back and forth between them in a presentation or recording. And of course there is the, the record section down the bottom for the audio recording and then a, a range of output choices. You can export the movie into a wide range of formats. Teachers and students can explain everything with this very polished and powerful application.